In this video I'm going to be going over our filter tuner. Uh, the filter tuner is basically a setting inside of our software where you're going to be able to manipulate the strength of the actual sharpening filter. So how you would get into that setting is by going into this tent looking icon. From here over on the left hand side you're going to see the raw image or the image that the sensor just spits out and over on the right you're going to see the filtered image. Down below you have effect, strength, and noise reduction and changing any of these sliders is going to affect the way that the image over on the right will appear. So as you can see as I move these sliders around the image on the right or the filtered image is being manipulated. So all three of those settings, the effect, strength, and noise reduction combined will generate our filter tuner options. Um, from there, once you have everything set, you want to click on save as default, and then that setting will then be applied to each image thereafter. Typically, you should only really need to do this once or twice in your practice. Most of the time, I've seen offices have very good images come out at about four to five over on the effect and about nine to eleven over on the strength. Noise reduction, we do want to keep this at either low or medium. Um, if you need to go to higher ultra, that will depend on your actual x-ray tube and how strong it is. Um, but basically we do want to try to keep this as low as possible. Otherwise if you do start getting into higher ultra it might have the adverse effect of actually blurring out the entire image because what it's trying to do is remove any of the graininess on the image itself. Once that's set just click on save as default and then once again that will apply those three settings to each image taken hereafter. 